why do you feel you're able to hold Carolina to come in as the highest scoring team in the league, you know, hold them down so easily to you? I think we wanted it more. I think as a group, collectively, we were good, we were solid, and we stayed organized throughout the match, and I, everyone worked for each other, everyone gave their all, so it was good to see. How did it feel for you out there? Is uh, some slippery conditions, and but overall, how did it feel for you? It felt good. I mean, uh, it was a little slick, a little wet, but I mean, I think we like to play that way, and it speeds up the game, and definitely better than the dry field for sure. How's your back? I think I saw the injury in practice when you went up for a ball. Mm -hmm. I believe. How, how is it? Yeah, it's it's a lot better. It's just tightness and kind of getting loose now, but I mean, I'm good now. You walk us through your thought process uh, coming in as a lead sub, uh, pretty high stakes. And yeah. Kind of come in and fill in the spot there. Yeah, it's a difficult time to come in uh, up one nothing, and we need to keep the lead. And they're bombing forward. They're sending everyone and anything they can going forward. So I mean. It's definitely, I just stay focused right from the bat and just play hard, get them all. How important is it for the team's confidence to write out this result tonight after giving up late goals over the past two weeks? It was big, definitely. I mean, definitely boosts our confidence, especially against the number one team in the league. So, I mean, coming out on top against them, now we have the momentum going forward against Miami. Anything specific that you felt you did as a team differently to close out the game that you didn't do the last two weeks? Um, I think we stayed focused, and we knew it has happened to us in the past, so we knew we weren't going to let that happen again. How important was it to close out this one? You know, there were some uh, dicey situations later on, but for the team's confidence and moving forward as well. Obviously, it's important. Uh, I still believe we played well in all our games. Uh, like you said, we didn't finish off games. We didn't kill off teams when we had the chance. Uh, I think today we were a much better team. There's no question about it. Uh, we were the ones asking, <coughs> asking the questions the whole game, uh, the whole 90 minutes, uh, creating chances, uh, going forward with numbers. And uh, uh, obviously it's important to, to win the game because of the confidence. But like I said, I don't think it was that bad the last two games on the road where we didn't close out games. But we were better teams in those games, in my opinion, as well. And uh, it's really important to get the three points, get back on track and prepare ourselves for another two two away games and uh, and push push the next five games and hopefully get the spring season title. The team has won all three of its games so far at home, lost the, the two away from home, heading into two games in a row on the road. What do you the guys think you need to do maybe differently, you know, this kind Score of road goals. trip around? Score goals. It's easy as that. I think uh, the Minnesota game in the first 20 minutes, it could have been 3 nil up for us. And it's a different, different ball game altogether. Um, so I guess when we have, I think we dominate possession in every game that we play. Uh, like I said, you have to f finish off games even today at, at 1-0. We could have scored a, a couple of goals. Oh, okay, we were unfortunate in some situations. And then you always give <coughs> a chance to, to the opposition to get back into the game. But like I said, that's one thing which and when we improve on, I think will be really, really good. You, uh, you Sorry, Matt. You, you knew that they would make a push even though you dominated possession and, and had really Every dangerous opportunity. What did you think of Jimmy late, especially there where he, where he, he reached Chipolani? Yeah. yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, even the chance before, I don't know what, who it was he saved it to, but he was great. And uh, like I said, it was a great team performance throughout the game. Uh, it could have been uh, more goals for us, it could have ended up with a draw, but I think we have to be happy and uh, continue playing the way we play. We play the game and uh, believe in what we're doing. And even though you get setbacks and you will have it, it's soccer. I mean, last year Leicester was bottom of the league. They're going to win the, the league this year. Uh, when you believe in, in in the stuff you do and and you don't uh, sway away from the path that you set up in front of you, I think results will come down the line. Uh, you you came close to to scoring a few chances uh, this week yourself. Um, do you feel like you're kind of getting back to your best, and how are you kind of s settling into to the team here now? Very much. I'm happy with the way I think the team played today. Obviously, uh, it gives myself confidence. I'm playing much deeper than I'm used to playing, um, which I'm really happy about. I think I uh, uh, dictated the rhythm of the game really well today, and uh, happy with my performance, but I think uh, what stands out today is the team's performance. Like I said, we were dangerous uh, in many, many occasions. We've got important games coming up, and I think uh, the way it's set up, uh, I did sign for the spring season, and at the end of the day, I'll have to sit down with the people here and see uh, if they want me <laughs> or if I want, or if it's a good fit, good combination, and if uh, everything is all right. Yeah, I love it. I, I must say I love it here. I think it's a great team, a great 
soccer club. Yes, we would like to have more fans come in, and we hope we're going to get them in, especially when the weather gets better. But I think there's talent in the team, and I'm really enjoying the time here. And uh, yeah, like I said, my main focus is obviously the next game. Uh, to win the next game and then hopefully the, the, the spring season at the end of it and then it will be easier to talk about my future and obviously what the clubs want to do with me. What was better or, or different um, this game maybe than the last two where you guys were able to, to, to close, close it out instead of conceding late? Uh, I mean, I've said it before, you know, soccer games at this level, obviously, uh, you know, details and, and the smallest things matter. Um, and, and sometimes just inches making making plays and uh, you know just those big moments you know making the plays I, I don't think it's anything drastic we did we just had that little bit more that was able to uh, that you know allowed us to finish out the game and come come home with three points you had one particular play where, where it seemed like you read him right off the the, the pass I guess for, uh, to Shivalani. can you just take us through that where you were able to come off your line and and, and just knock the ball away and he was on obviously so it even Gio said, I guess if you're if you read it a second later, maybe it's in the back of the net. Yeah, no, those plays are tough. I mean, uh, everyone sees uh, Manuel Nauer do it for Bayern Munich all the time. He's kind of popularized it, but uh, you know, it happens to him. You're you're a split second off, and uh, you look like an idiot, and it's a goal. <laughs> but uh, no, you know, fortunately, I was able to read it early and and get there in time. I mean, Shipani's so fast. I was worried for a second, but. But no, I mean, again, those those plays, those split second decisions, they're you know milliseconds that you, you have time to react and try and read a play. And you know, fortunately tonight, everything worked out. You guys were coming off two losses in a row. Carolina obviously was unbeaten heading into this game. How much of a boost does this you know give the team's confidence, especially now heading uh, for two more games on the road? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Uh, you know, anytime we play at home, no matter what it is, we got to get three points. Uh, being able to close the gap against Carolina was was huge for the spring season. Obviously, if we would have lost this game uh, or even just tied, the spring season would have been pretty far uh, out of reach, I think. But uh, you know, so so there's that. Kind of keeps us going for the spring, and then. You know, it's such a long season. It's it's such week by week that uh, more than anything, you know, it's a confidence thing and. Sometimes you get in, in rhythms, whether it's winning rhythms or losing rhythms. So, I mean, we, it's always good just to snap that, get back into winning, and, uh, you know, we look forward to Miami now. Obviously, the, the team has won all three of his games at home, lost the two games on the road. Nico before mentioned that it was just scoring goals is what needs to be done more on the road. Do you agree with that, or do you think something else needs to happen as well? No, like I said, I mean, the two games we lost, I mean, I've, we, we said after we, the Minnesota game was the best game we played all year. And we end up losing because they're a good team. And, you know, sometimes it's just those smallest of details, those inches, those milliseconds that, you know, we didn't make our chances count and they did. And tonight, you know, we were able to come out on top with the same thing. Caroline had some chances. They're a great team. Uh, we scored ours. You know, luckily we were able to prevent theirs. Um, and it'll be the same thing as we move forward to Miami. You know, I don't think uh, home, away, whatever it is, it's, it's always a different challenge. But, uh, you know, there's nothing big that needs to change. It's just being able to be as sharp as we can at, you know, in front of both goals. You just mentioned um, that the spring title would have been, the hopes for that would have been kind of slim had you not pulled out the win today. But after the way you had the close calls and didn't come through in the last two weeks before this week, and then they ma they're making their push and you're clinging to that one goal lead, is there any extra pressure on you in that, in those final minutes like that to, to keep that lead? Uh, not me personally. I mean, as a, as a team, we do everything together. I mean, I didn't sense anything that that was, you know, personal pressure, anything different. You know, obviously the losing uh, points those those last two games the way we did right at the end, uh, it always hurts, and and you never want to think about it. Um, you know, but at the same time, maybe losing those games gave us that extra edge, that extra concentration to finish this one out. You know, who know, who knows? But uh, I, I wouldn't call it pressure. I would say we were aware of it, and we. You know, but any game we want to finish it out and come out on top with three points. You have uh, one goal across these four appearances. It looks like you and your back line have been combining very well. Uh, even a, a new part like Perfon comes in, starts today, makes an impact. Can you just offer some thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I mean, we got some great defenders in. Uh, but, you know, anytime I'm asked these questions, I always give the same answer that it, 
At this level, you can't defend with four four guys and a goalie. You know, having Lahoud in front, the work that Nico and, and Juan put in the midfield, uh, along with Lahoud, our, our outside mids, and then freaking Hyro, our forward, works so hard defensively, you know, keeping things to one side, pressuring their defenders so they can't just pick passes. It's always a team effort, and, uh, you know, we got a great group of guys where, you know, no matter who gets called on, Farfan recently uh, stepping in, uh, you know, we, we trust everybody and we're really confident no matter, you know, who lines up. What was the difference between this game being able to keep the 1 0 score in the previous one where, you know, you guys lost the last minutes? Again, I think it's just the smallest of details. I don't think there's any big difference. I don't think there's any, you know, anything to really name to specify that was different. I think it's just, you know, finishing our chances and, and making sure they didn't finish theirs. It's, you know, at this level, the, the margins are very, very slim. And, um, you know, we were able to come on top tonight. But, uh, you know, maybe just a little bit of concentration. But, you know, no, no big changes. Can you uh, take us through your goal and, and, and how happy do you feel to score your first goal for the Cosmos? Sí, este, me siento bastante contento. Very honored. Por la confianza que me dio Giovanni Savarese. For the trust Gio has put on in me. Estaba mentalizado que iba a hacer gol hoy y lo lo he hecho realidad. I was mentalized to score today, and I'm very happy that I fulfilled, you know, my desire. Desde que desde ayer ya traía en la mente que iba a hacer gol hoy y creo que cuando uno atrae mucho las cosas las cosas salen. Since yesterday, I was thinking about scoring today. And I thought about it very, very hard. So apparently, it works out when you think about it, you know, a lot because I ended up scoring today. Sí, me siento contento porque después de cinco meses que no jugaba, me siento nuevamente jugador de fútbol. Y me sentía como que presionado. Necesito jugar para volver a la selección. I was very happy because after five months, I felt like I wasn't a soccer player. But now that I've uh, that I've returned. I feel like a real soccer player, and um, I want to get ready to return to the national team. You know, <coughs> you didn't play very much in the first four games. How difficult was it for you to watch your team play without really contributing as much as you'd like to? No jugaste los cuatro primeros partidos de la temporada. ¿Qué tan difícil fue para ti ver al equipo desde la línea y no poder contribuir en el juego? Sí, bueno, la verdad que siempre. He tenido la mentalidad de que, de que si no juego estoy en la banca, estoy preparado para mi momento, así como lo esperé hoy. I've always thought that even if I'm on the bench, I'll always be ready to contribute to the team whenever the coach decides to put me on the game. Well, um, you said that you were thinking about scoring the goal. Was it as nice uh, as you thought in, in your mind, the, the goal that you scored? Cuando pensaste que ibas a hacer gol hace un par de días, ¿te imaginaste que iba a hacer un gol así de bonito? No, no me lo imaginé porque creo que son momentos que uno no sabe cómo, cómo va a ser el gol, pero más se imagina que puede hacer el gol en el momento. I never thought it would be a goal like that. You kind of think about that you can actually score and do something nice, but you can never think about scoring a goal like that. Matthew? Uh, to, to the way that you scored that goal, obviously you mentioned you know being being away from the field for a while, and now to score the way you do, how, what does that do for your confidence moving forward, especially after getting your first start uh, here with the Cosmos? ¿Cómo te ayuda tu confianza personal en hacer un gol después de haber estado habilitado por un tiempo? Bueno, creo que estaba preparado para mi momento. Todavía no estoy al 100% como como yo lo era antes, y vengo acá a portar un grano de arena y I still don't feel I'm 100% ready. I'm here to contribute. I'm here to pitch in to be part of a team. Uh, I've done well today, but I know there's many more to come. There are, there's more to come. I'm sorry. You said you're not 100% ready. Is that uh, game fitness or is there another reason? ¿A qué te refieres no 100%? No, yo no no soy no soy esto que que yo no soy más. He feels, estoy, tengo para dar más. I feel that I can still contribute more, not necessarily physically, but I can contribute more to the game. Uh, Arietta and Durago had immediate impacts as well. Um, did you kind of lean on them and, and, and talk to them while you were waiting to get your turn? Eh, Jairo, Arrieta y, y Juan Arango tuvieron un impacto casi que instantáneo cuando jugaron. Como lo que te pasó a ti hoy, porque empezaste a jugar, tuviste un impacto. 
¿Tú como que te ves reflejado en ellos o hablas con ellos al respecto? Sí, siempre, siempre tenemos mucha confianza y también sé manejarme con Jairo Arrieta y con Juan, sé cómo juegan y, y más que todo sé para dónde van a correr, sé cuando tengo que darle la pelota se la doy y, y ellos saben dónde voy a llegar yo y como que nos hablamos ante el partido, si yo corro para acá, tú corres para este lado y así estamos. We have a great relationship, Jairo, uh, Juan and myself, and I know them very well, they know me very, very well, and uh, they know where I'm going to go on the pitch, I know where they're going to go, and sometimes even before every match, we kind of decide what kind of plays we're going to uh, run, so it's a good relationship overall.